Welcome to Bardscraft. I'm back again with more primitive orc terrain. As a bonus feature, it rolls dice. Unconventional crafting methods? Certainly. Why? Yes. Grab your cleavers and let's begin. Okay, before getting to the useful parts of this build, I will quickly show you how I made the steel foundation for the tower. Here are some scrap metal parts I found in my dad's workshop. Some of the pieces will be perfect once cut out. After having all the pieces ready, I started welding. This is my very first time welding, so it will truly become a crude orc tower, as intended. The plan is to weld on more pieces in an attempt to create something that remotely resembles a tower. Perhaps this will work, I thought. More pointy and dangerous bits. Great. The dice will roll out from this opening. This looks like crap, but hey, as long as it stays together, just two more higher pieces of scrap metal and we're ready to move back to my simple studio. Here we are. I think I'll start by making some shaky plank structures. First, some thick wooden beams. I texture them with a pen and then thought for a while. If I make a rough frame, I can then continue by adding on planks and suitable junk. Let's do that. Some rough measurements. Then I'll start carelessly gluing on the support beams, using toothpicks as a bit of help. Okay, that will dry while I make some planks. A bit thinner than the beams. There, commencing the chaotic construction with silly foam planks. This side will be partly covered with something else. I'm not sure what. We will see what I find out, presumably some junk. Okay, I have got this far. Let's see what comes next. My friend gave me a bag. A bag that contains these things. Not sure what to call them. But let's call my friend Jerry the Paint Goblin. This will work well as various metallic scrap bits. I will try to paint one of these bits to see if they work. Anyway, I still have to build with other parts before adding details, such as the floors and dice rolling things. Black with a copper dry brush already looks great. I will paint more details later, now let's finish the top of the tower. The planks for the top will be thick, now they won't break when I throw dice. I started gluing in the crude thick planks. This will definitely not be at level, but hey, that's part of this. Once in a while. I used toothpicks so pieces stay in place. What the hell will this piece even be? Well, let's not question orc architecture. There is our hole, and some die to go along. This is where the dice will roll out. I still need to figure out how this will work, so that the dice will roll out nicely. I will now add more planks to the walls, if we can call them that, and then some on the top of the orc battlements. What are you doing here? Did we run out of banana peels? Push. Moving on. This long beam will go all the way down. Let's see. Some extra support. There we go. Because the shaky wood construction is not glued on to the metal yet, I think it's smart to paint the wood first. Yeah, I'll do that. A simple paint job. First, burnt umber as a base coat. Once that has dried, it's time for a layer of burnt umber mixed with yellow. 
With this color, I cover everything except the grooves in the wood textures, like this. Okay, there it is. The paint gets a bit darker when it dries, so you might want to do many coats of this color. Next, a dry brush with tan. More on some areas and less on others. That should work. Hey, this isn't that bad. I'll try something new for me. A bit of orange-yellow. Yeah, that works. Just a bit of that color on a few spots. Alright, at this point I think I'll figure out how to get the dice to roll out nicely. Hmm. Some kind of a wedge needs to be made. But I won't make a floor or base, since I also want to use this as terrain on different surfaces, such as on the battle mats I made last week. Rolling dice will just be an extra feature, mostly I will use this as terrain. I will make the wedge thing out of foam. Let's figure out how to get the shape. Nice. I'll cut it out, and the crack doesn't matter. So, shush. I made a few adjustments, and it fits right in. I'll try it first. Hmm, I made the wedge a bit smaller. The dice hits here sometimes, so that should be fixed now. Some dice barely get out, but that's okay. Let's see if this works with several D6s at the same time. Okay, I'll give it a pass. The surface will get harder once I add cardstock. Perhaps it works better. Talking about cardstock, I will use cardstock from Oats again, of course. I cut out a rough piece and then glued it on. That's horrible. I'll cut away the excess later. Before gluing it in, I painted it with black. Then, messy painting with brown and orange. This isn't supposed to be any specific material. As long as the piece blends in, we're good. I readied the glue gun. Nothing fancy here. Yeah, that should work. There's a gap there. Believe me, it has a purpose. I'm totally not lying here. Eating like an orc directly from the pan for greater immersion. Do this and you will get the greatest terrain ever. Hey, I got an idea for painting the metal. I'll try painting with brown, yellow and red to get something that looks like rust. I just painted and then decided to get messy with paper. While tapping with the paper, small bits come off and they form the perfect uneven surface of an rusty orc metal. The metal edges are rough and sharp. That makes this more fun. So I never shaved them off and never had intentions of doing that. I'm not saying this is a good thing. After all, I'm just an idiot who knows what he's doing. Here you can see some of the accidental intentional paper textures. It's okay if this looks a bit bright. It's not ready yet. I will see how a metal dry brush works. I dry brushed with the gun metal. If this rust looks great, I will make an in-depth experimental tutorial for messy rust effects in a format similar to that of the flocking tutorial. People seem to like it. Great. That will look even better when I apply wash later. At this point, I attach the metal base to the shaky wood structure. I hope that the hot glue gun creates a bond that is strong enough. This is a bit messy, but I will cover any ugly areas with some various details that I will add in the next step. Looks clean and the bond seems to be strong enough. If this doesn't hold, I will just call this modular terrain. For the details, I will start with some rags of leather and unknown fabrics. Cardstock is my material of choice, naturally. And hey, if you like my strange ideas, be sure to subscribe if you're new here. This is how I added some texture on them and made them look worn. Just destroy it, but don't actually. 
should look something like this. Yeah, that's all of them. I will paint them with a light brown first. The backside will be barely visible, so it's easier to cover it with a darker brown. While at it, I lightly painted some parts of the visible sides as well with the same color. Before attaching these, using the mysterious contents of the bag I showed you earlier, I painted some orc art on the banners and the hide rags. Just to add some color, red and blue markings as well. Moving on, I'll cut out all of the plastic pieces, whatever they are called. I was supposed to check check the name of these before doing this voiceover, but I didn't. I will also add some of these as extra reinforcements and ornaments all over the tower. The camera ran out of battery, so here they are. As before, I painted them with black, then heavily dry brushed with copper. These pieces, based with the cheapo acrylic paint, take the dry brush much better due to the uneven surface. Additionally, I highlighted some of the edges with gunmetal. After a while, I was ready to start gluing these in place, as well as the banners, of course. A bit of hot glue and a bit more mess. I'll make sure to clean up the stringy glue pieces and cover up any ugly parts with paint. I painted all the exposed hot glue with black first, then with brown and orange to blend it in. Now the tower is cleaned up, I'll do some washes. Starting off with a simple black wash, here I let gravity do most of the work. Now that the black wash has dried, I'll use an orange wash next. Let's see. Amazing, that worked well. A quick coat with a basic fixative makes the colors of the planks a bit deeper. This is all good and safe, as long as I don't breathe, so I didn't. Alright, here is the tower. Dice rolling seems to work just fine. And this goes well with other terrain I've made earlier. And the battle mats. Check these out. Hope you got something useful out of this silly build. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, craft more terrain and miniatures. Good luck. And get me some paint on Patreon. You don't have to, but do it anyways. Just check out the page.